I'm gonna cover some tools I've been using to research faster with AI. I'll cover them at three different levels. One, I'll talk about a quick research level where I just wanna get an overview of a topic. Two, going in depth with academic research. And number three is deep research when you're looking at one paper that you've actually downloaded as a PDF and you can actually scan that paper and get really important insights out of it. My name is Marvin, this channel is about lifelong learning and upskilling. I want this channel to be everything that I wish I learned in school. Feel free to jump around in the video, there are chapters included. There's a lot of AI hype right now and so I just wanna mention that all of these things that I'm sharing them are tools that I've actually used myself and found to be helpful. So let's start with level one quick research. All right, you've probably heard of and used ChatGPT at this point. You can actually ask the AI something like, give me papers for research on the relationship between intrinsic motivation and grades. So let's take one of these papers and actually go into Google with it. So here's the actual paper that ChatGPT directed me to. And you can see that this might be a good paper for me to read if I'm interested in intrinsic motivation and how that affects grades in school. Okay, it tells me that these can coexist where extrinsic motivation can be synergistic with intrinsic motivation and cites a paper. And then it also gives me a situation where extrinsic rewards can undermine the intrinsic motivation. You can see what ChatGPT is actually capable of, giving me maybe a few papers to look for in the field, especially if it's a well-researched area and a general overview of what's going on. It won't get into specifics. It rarely actually gives me cited data that's accurate. And you have to be kind of careful with everything it gives you since it has a cutoff point of data. Now, surprisingly, one of the things that's even better than ChatGPT at this kind of quick research is the Bing Assistant on Edge browser. And that's because Microsoft actually acquired OpenAI and built in this really powerful Bing Assistant into their browser. Now, Edge sucks as a browser. I hate this thing and I didn't want to download it, but I did because of how powerful this is. If you go to the Bing Assistant on the side when you log into Edge Browser and you click on More Creative, it'll actually access GPT-4, which is the newest model, and you don't have to pay extra to use it. On top of that, this has access to the web. It's one of the few tools that I've found that can access a web browser and actually look for things on Google Scholar and return results. And so if you type in, find me the top five papers on Google Scholar related to intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and their effect on performance in school. So right now it's actually going through and it's searching for this topic on the site googlescholar.com. See what it comes up with. So it's actually gone and done a web search for me and it's returned these papers and cited them. So can you summarize the main findings of each? Let's try that. Okay, so you can see it's actually pulling up these papers, giving me a summary of each one of the papers and then linking it so that if I click on it on the side, it will pull it up in my main browser window. All right, level two, I'm gonna talk about academic research. I'm gonna talk about two different tools here, Elicit and Semantic Scholar. Elicit has a desktop app, and if I press Command-Shift-E, it'll actually pull it up really easily. Now, if I wanna search something on here, I can type it into this search bar, and what I'm gonna do is I'll look at our topic again of intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and effect on school performance. And now the cool thing here is it'll actually give you an option to brainstorm some questions around that topic. So let's ask this correctly. How can intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, because I wanna see how do they work together. So let's use that last one. So what it's going to do is it's going to find me papers related to these topics. It's gonna to give me the abstract of those papers right here on the side. Alyssa also automatically takes the top four papers and writes a summary for you based on what you asked it. It has this section down below where you can actually type in things like number of participants and it will find you that and create a category for it in the papers. You can even ask it for things like dose, the age of participants, population summaries, demographics, everything that you can think of that's data from a paper, Elicit can automatically pull out. And it does this pretty well. Elicit also gives a ranking on a lot of the papers that come up that can tell you a little bit more about how reputable the journal that the paper is coming from is. Elicit is great, but sometimes the AI just doesn't get the question that I want totally correct, and a little bit more manual of an approach works better. And for those cases, I use semantic scholars. So if I look up intrinsic, and extrinsic motivation effect on school performance. This is what a semantic scholar result looks like. And once I click on a paper, and let's pick this paper that has 204 citations on it. Semantic scholar gives you an abstract for the paper at the top. It lets, gives you all the links that you need, the citations, the references, and what papers might be related. All right, level three, and this is maybe my favorite tool of them all. This is a tool called chat PDF. 
and it really just uses ChatGPT to read PDF files that you have downloaded. So you can feed it a PDF file of a document. This paper is on the concept of a Ulysses contract, and I'm gonna see how good ChatPDF does with it. So it's gonna analyze the file, it'll index it so it's able to find the different parts, and then it looks just like ChatGPT, and it gives you a few options here. So you can actually choose the questions it asks, or you can ask your own question. Give me a summary of this PDF document. This is the ultimate TLDR and it's really helpful when you've got papers that might be behind a paywall that you can't access with Semantic Skull or Elicit or the other apps. This app works really well with a reference manager like Zotero where you can download a bunch of papers that, are, that might look interesting to you, get quick summaries of them, and then actually dive into them yourself when you find that based on the summaries, they are relevant to what you're trying to work on. Okay, I unpacked a lot in that video, so let me just review. On level one, we've got ChatGPT and Bing Assistant, which can be good for doing quick research or getting an overview of a topic. Once you've got that overview of the topic, Elicit and Semantic Scholar are great AI tools for actually diving into the academic research. On level three, you've actually gone past some of the paywalls, you've downloaded PDFs, and now you've got files that you've got in your reference manager that you wanna read through. And at that point, you can use chat PDF to actually chat with that document, get summaries, pull specific data from it, and parse it a lot more quickly. I hope this was a helpful video and that some of these tools help you save a lot of time and research faster. My name is Marvin. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like more lifelong learning and upskilling tips, and check out my other videos.